I just wish all these people showed up for him when he was here. You know what I'm saying? You got. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. Hey, what's crack a lack? And it's your girl, K Mane. Now, listen, we're going to talk about Swiss Beats and why he called out fake friends at DMX's home going. Um, but first, let's touch on the versus battle real quick. Just real quick. Um, Escape versus SWV. Now, did you all watch? I'm not going to front. I did not watch. I didn't watch. Um, I'm not a huge fan of neither. Um, I don't know. I know, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Their music always sounded like bubblegum music to me. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to front, though. There is one song I do like by SWV. And I think, um, I just heard the third song today, earlier today. Um, the one with MJ. Um, what is it? Yeah, right here. Right here. Now, I do like that. That's fire. I, I love that. I love that song. Now, I'm hearing in these versus battle streets, um, it's fit kind of like 50-50 on who won. Um... People saying, you know, Escape won, but then some say SWV won. So, I don't know. But, um, they said it was a good versus battle. Yeah. Now, also, speaking of SWV, Coco almost didn't perform the versus battle. Mm-hmm. Said a woman was shot outside of her window. Out, no, out, yeah, well, outside of her window, but outside of her hotel, right before the versus battle, um, she heard like four shots, and outside of her window, um, there was a woman, a woman lying there, a lady lying there on the ground, covered in blood. Yup, um, and um, she said if it wasn't for her sons, she probably wouldn't have performed the the versus battle. I can only imagine, you know, how she felt, boy. I'm telling you. You know, right before you about to go on stage and hear some woman just lying there, screaming, crying, you know, covered in blood, shot all up. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, but, um, moving on. Um, and another thing, too, um, before I touch on Swiss Beats, let's send our prayers out to Lizzo, y'all. Lizzo is going through some things, not sure what she's going through. Um, but it's, you know, she's having a little meltdown. She feels like she's not loved. Well, she says she, she knows she's loved, but she doesn't feel like she's loved. Um, just one of those things, you know. Um, and she posted a video, and I'm going to let you guys take a, a quick look at the video, and then I'll come back and finish building. All right? You know that part of sadness where you feel like a burden on everyone and annoying and nobody cares about you? <sighs> Can we get rid of that part? It's like, yo, I'm already sad. <laughs> Gotta add insult to injury that I have no one to talk to about it. It's crazy. Like, why do we feel this way? Why do we feel this way when we get sad? I don't want to feel this way anymore. I want to feel like I do have someone to talk to. People do care about me. I am love. I'm not alone. That's how I want to feel, but I don't I don't feel like that. Okay, this is embarrassing. Yeah, so let's, you know, keep home girl in our prayers. Um, we praying for you, Lizzo. We love you, girl. We love you. Alright, so now Swiss Beats. Um Swiss Beats talked about why he called out fake friends at DMX's home going. Now, um, as you know, um, Swiss Beats and uh, DMX, they had like a unique bond. Um, you know, they did a lot of things together outside of the music business. Mm -hmm. Still don't trust him, but um, yeah. So, um, during um, DMX's funeral, um, Swiss Beats had to get something off his chest. So, he called out a few people. 
Um, and so he did an interview um, with Angie Martinez explaining why um, he called out ex's fake friends. So I'm going to leave you guys with this clip. Make sure you guys share, subscribe, like or dislike. I take it either way. Uh, and this is your girl K Mane. And until next time, peace. Ex, from the fans' standpoint, X got a lot of love. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just the other love that he was looking for, I didn't think he got enough of. You know what I'm saying? And that's what made me want to say what I said at, at his um, home going because I was dealing with a lot of that on the other side. So I was, and I was, and I was with X a lot, like, especially even recently, you know, back to back. So I was very current in his life and understanding where he was at and what he was going through. And so when I just started seeing things as his brother, naturally, it just bothered me, you know, and I just, I couldn't help but say what I said. And I meant what I said. Did you mean from people who knew him or you mean from the business or the industry or? For everybody who knew who they were, you know, friends, family members, business members, you name it, because there's a bucket of those people um, that I was talking to 